So, I looked this up only in your state. This is Vermont. Of course, February 16th, 2019. And there's, apparently there's an abandoned radar base in Vermont. And dangerously creepy. I would love to try and get out to this place. Due to the fact, to the, um... Uh, it had a connection or something to do with the 1962 abduction of Barney and Betty Hill. And that night when them two claimed they got abducted, this place here started getting lots of creepy things on their radar. And of course, this happened to be probably covered up by the government but uh it's during the 1950s cold world cold war had a united states and the soviet union had a stockpiling firepower and the threat of a nuclear bomb being dropped was terrifying concern across the nation um vermont's northeast kingdom east mountain and sprawling and very remote ridgeline was chosen to become the site for north concord air force station the now abandoned radar base sits on top of the mountain as a shell of a formal self and since uh, its closure has provided to be a dangerous place and I say too much of tragedy but who the hell cares I'd love to get up there as you can see the span of miles of radius that you can see of course being on a mountain it was uh, began in 1954, uh, two years and two, $21 million later. It was uh, up and running. The radar base was meant to provide information to uh, start air command bases, including any signs of nuclear activity. Uh, manning the base were 174 men living in a metal Quonset huts in Mid Mountain Plateau. The administration site not only provided sleeping accommodation for the men, but also store, bowling alley, a theater, barber shop, mess hall. God damn, living at large up there in the mountain, you know. Uh, station was no picnic. Long and hard winters is what tore these people apart. Of course, being in a steel friggin' building. Who knows what the hell friggin' heat was like in there. But, uh, of course, as you can see, the winding mountain road made the colder months less than enjoyable. Of course, plowing up there must have been a bitch. <clears throat> the base was renamed as the Linder, Lind Lindenville Air Force Base in 1962. Closed shortly thereafter in 1963. But, um, this is the first incident occurred before the closure of the base, 1961. Something strange was sighting in the air above East Mountain. I think this person messed up the year. The military reported an in incident as lasting close to 18 minutes. Allegedly, hours later, Barney and Betty Hill were abducted by a UFO in Franconia North area of New Hampshire. Many believe these events are related. So with that being said, uh, this is all just telling what this does now. I think you can still get up there. But they say, I don't know, it's dangerous. But to see this and to know that there was activity and, of course, goddamn government covering up. I'm for damn sure that they didn't say, Oh, we're at our Air Force base. We had some activity in the air. In 18 minutes. I could just imagine. That must have been the two sightings in 1962. One by Betty and Barney and the other one on the other road. If you check out my uh, video, I have a mapping of it. And the road was, um, you know, say so, <clears throat> uh, 
I want to say maybe a mile and a half a wide apart with trees and stuff, wooded areas, I believe it was. But it is, you know, you got the V shape and uh, so forth. I haven't done a mapping on this yet to see how far the air base is from Franconia or even the area that I mapped out in the other one. I think I still have them saved in my Google Photos. <clears throat> I have to go back on that, but, you know, just to think, here we are. Stuff coming out of the woodwork, you know, friggin' 30, 40, 50 years later. It's like Area 51. I don't know if that's taking place yet. <laughs> the mob going to mob that place, but all the hidden secrets that are out there. All this stuff with, <laughs> who knows, underground tunnels. You know, think about it. And this air base catches 18 minutes. That means two sightings that night in 1962. One of them got abduct abducted. So I'm about to wonder if it only took the aliens 18 minutes to suck them guys up, do their testing, put them back. You know, when they say it felt like hours later or whatever. But 18 minutes, you can just imagine what the hell if a friggin' alien ship just happened to suck you up, stayed there, or whatnot. Or who knows, maybe they went in an underground tunnel. You know, instead of zipping up in space, how about that? Think about that. Pfft, drag you down, and they disappeared, or into the mountains. You know, these mountains, you think about them, they're huge. Whenever I look at a mountain, no friggin' lie. And I'm not just saying this because I've came up with this idea that there could be something under it. But when I look at big, huge mountains, man, I, they kind of, like, freak me out. Just by looking at them, I look at them. And just because the hum humongous thing that stands before you, it just kind of freaks me out. Just to think how high that damn thing is. And just to think, right, some of them are volcanoes. And can explode like Mount St. Helens and have your friggin' city filled with lava. Or the fact that something could be goddamn living under them friggin' mountains. They're huge. Think about it. Big enough to hold an alien base. That's a big goddamn mountain. They talk about mountains being, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 miles wide, you know, two, three friggin' thousand feet high or even higher, the elevation. And just think what could be friggin' underneath living. So, in that night when the Barney and uh, Betty got abducted, I believe someone said they saw something zip by. So, I mean, you know, it's just insane what could be out there. And when this got, and to see this coming up now, 18 minutes, allegedly, you know, and they don't even say what it was, makes you think, people, what is beneath us? What is in the mountains? And what happened here? I'd love to get to this freaking base before they do anything with it or tear it down. I'm about damn for sure there's some damn ghosts up there because I don't say it in here, but I can tell you something. I bet you there's some suicides that went on up in this place. You know, living in these small quarters, all right, you got a theater, you got this, you got that. But to take, you know, things like living in a goddamn submarine, you're out of the friggin' world with this stuff. Yeah, a lot of people lose their friggin' minds, boy. I mean, it's just crazy to think, but but just to think that they had that friggin' whatever it was flying around abducting people and never brought up of what it meant or where it went or how, what, and where, who, where. Just a big secret, and all you get is this. Oh, they, they had 18 minutes or something. Then hours later, these two got kidnapped, right? Why don't they release what? You know, Jackie Gleason. I'll end it with this. I don't know how true it is, but I kind of believe it. Jackie Gleason, world-famous comedian. 
just uh, do justice on um, I can't read. I want to forget his name, but Mr. Justice, Beauty Justice. So if I'm saying it right or not, I'll kill myself because I'm screwing up one of my favorite movies of all time. But him and Smokey and the Bandit. That's right. That man was a friggin' legend and beyond. And he said he was taken by, uh, what the hell is his name? Richard Nixon showed him aliens. I don't know, man. It's out there and people friggin', you know, and that man's dead now. So what's really roaming out there, people? This is crazy. And just for this to come up, man, it blows my mind. But until the next video, be safe, take care, and always believe. Because now you don't know what the hell's underneath your ass wandering. And just imagine what they did with these people. Bring them in the mountains, bring them underneath. And the military caught it. What's really going on out there? Out.